Now to the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic. The Ministry of Health has rolled out behavior change communication in communities in a bid to ensure that the containment measures rolled out to prevent the spread of coronavirus are being adhered to. This comes as the country recorded 141 positive cases from a sample size of 3,307 in the last 24 hours. Emily Kay with the details. In the latest development, the Ministry of Health has rolled out a program to directly engage with communities through their leaders. Today really marks a change in approach when it comes to the COVID-19 response, where we are rolling out what is known as behavior change communication. We've just concluded a two-hour session with the community. We met with the leaders of the Boda Boda Association. We've met with the Matatu Association. We've met with the community health workers. We've also met with the youth. And we've deliberated on what it means in terms of adherence of the COVID-19 protocols. Communities will deliberate on adherence to protocols following numerous cases of people ignoring the laid down protocols. We have noted, however, generally as a country over the last couple of weeks that many people have started to ignore the laid down protocols for dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Health Chief Administrative Secretary Masi Mwangangi is warning the recent reduction in the numbers of infection doesn't mean the country is completely out of the woods. And so we remind you that there is no cure for this disease. And yes, studies are being carried out the world over to be able to determine if we can find a cure or, and also to be able to find a vaccine that can offer us you know, a new way of living while controlling this pandemic. But the important message becomes that really this condition is still here with us. While gains have been made, we have to ensure that we avoid going back, we avoid getting a second wave. Mwangangi, who was speaking at Thika Level 5 Hospital after a community engagement with the leaders and members of Kiambu County, said that 141 people tested positive for the virus out of 3,307 samples tested, increasing the total coronavirus burden to 37,489. In what appears to be a new trend, Transoya led with 28 cases, followed by Nakuru which had 24 cases, Nairobi and Mombasa both had 14, Kiambu 9, Trukana 4, Bungoma, Homabe, West Pokot, Machakos 2 each, while Moranga, Nandi, Vihiga, Meru and Busia had one case each. The number of recoveries rose to 24,334 after 81 patients were discharged, out of which 69 were from home-based care program and 12 from various health facilities. The number of fatalities also increased to 669 after five people succumbed to the virus. For Channel 1 News, I am Emily K. Bade.